we go, there's the packaging. And this is supposed to be a new one. Uh, new pair. There we go. Ooh, I can already see him peeking through there. And, uh, you know, you guys already know what what it is when uh, when you see these these cheese holes. I see the off-white in there. Um, the Women's Waffle Racer, Black, White, Fuchsia, Noir, 13 Women's, 11.5 Men's. There's a suggested retail, 130 and, uh, you know, actually I got these under retail um, on GOAT, but obviously, you know, you can see the GOAT there. Oh, what this sticker is, that's kind of tight. I like that sticker. Thank you very much, GOAT. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm just getting in the shoes, and that's kind of why I went with these. You know, they're not too expensive, like right around retail, 130 bucks US. And here we go. Ready? Ooh, look at those. Look at this GOAT card. That's a nice touch. All right, so it says go verified, label and tag, Bing, soul, check. Let's see what that is. What is that? Sorry again for the hands. You know, I'm a teacher, and I use red and blue pens all the time. Stitching looks good. Wait, 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 wait. Why is this material one not punched all the way through? No, don't do that to me. Please don't do that to me. All right, well, anyway. It's 95, 99% there. The colors there, the texture, the structures there, accessory, box condition, shoe condition, right and left, skew and size. There we go, quality control. Thank you for that verification. You know, the reason why I went with GOAT is I was really scared about getting fakes, you know? Speaking of, look at the Jordans. I want to see I want to see if these, I know I'm going off topic. I'm going crazy. But let's check this out. I don't know what this, oh, another GOAT sticker. Heck yeah. All right, check this out. Ready? So it says "goat verified" on those two label and tags. Soul, the soul. So even though the soles are not, it doesn't seem like those are original. They still have this stitching, shoe condition looks good, right? So I hope that those are real. Um, those are my first J's. But anyway, let's check these out. All right, off whites. Look at this nice yellow paper right here. All right, let's peel that back. Ooh, look at those, man. Those are wild. Look at those. Those could have ripped up the whole box. These are just crazy. And the reason why I got these, I really wanted to get you know dig into the Virgil Abloh series, a blah or a blue. And I'm trying to learn more about shoe culture, man. And the the one reason why I got into it was just like the materials, the art, and I and I felt like these drew to me the most because of that artistic process. You know, I feel like if I were to make something, I would make it like this crazy, you know, just out of there. And I I like it, you know. Everyone I, I see a lot of people online, they're like cutting down these spikes and, you know, I'm like I don't know. I'm going to leave these just the way they are. They're going to wear down in a matter of no time at all. And I'm going to expect to wear these on a regular. Like, I love this. See those spikes? It's so weird. It's so weird. But I love the original, like, waffle design. Like, I really like the Sakai's. And this kind of, like, I don't know. To me, I felt like it was a pretty low price to get into these, you know? They weren't like thousands of dollars or anything. A lot of them were sitting on the shelf. I mean, these are brand spanking new. Look at that. They've got that. That feels a little cheap. Deconstructed. I guess, you know, looking at all the other shoes, the other off-white Nike, they all look like they have this, like, um, deconstructed look. And I see a lot of people cutting this out, which I will not do, because I actually really like this material here. I think it makes the shoe look really cool. It's sewed in all the way there. That's really cool. They actually remind me of these like old-fashioned Taiwanese bags. Um, white for Nike, Waffle Racer. Barely focus on it. Beaverton, Oregon. USA 2019. Man, those are sick. God, I love those. This Nike. Let's check this out. Nike. Look at the inside there. 
with a little black and pink. I don't know what you guys think about that. I'm gonna lay these here and check out the other pair. See what's hiding under there. Bam. Let's look at this one. So this is the one that actually has the tag. Um do you keep your tags? Do you do do you off white people? Um Hang on to your tags. Look at that tag right there. What is this? It's like felt. <laughs> Look at that. There's a tag right there. I mean, it's kind of just a plastic tag with a. I don't know if you can see that. Velcro-ish material, or not Velcro, I'm sorry, like felt, it's felty, and the lace kind of shine, the laces kind of shine through, and uh, this low-key one right here, the low-key black and gray lace, I actually haven't seen a lot of other people put this detail in, but look at this blue and green on the, on the bottom side there. I feel like this is a really well made um, sneaker because I can't really see any of the glue marks or anything except for maybe like back here back here, I don't know if you guys can see that check out the back here alright I know I'm rambling but you know like I said this is a self discovery of you know why do people buy shoes US patent You know, see how durable this is. This seems pretty durable right here. Uh, obviously, you know the spikes aren't the spikes are probably going to end up looking like these little stubs right here, flattened out. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated how long those last. But yeah, overall, I'm I'm very excited to get my first pair of off whites. So. Um, holler to the squad over there at Off-White, Virgil Abloh, and um, Abloh, and then Nike. Those are great. I can't wait. So let's try them on real quick. All right, so here we go. Uh, I know I look kind of lame right now with my joggers, but here's the Off-White Waffle Racers. Um... I just want to mention first off how they feel. Like I love the look of them. The pink might be a little bit too loud. Um, honestly, they, they they feel like cleats. Like like I'm wearing um, soccer cleats, footy cleats. You know. Like I feel like I'm gonna go dig in the sand right now. It's really weird. They're like really floaty. They're really floaty, as you can see. Like. Here, check this out. Whenever they hit the ground, obviously, look at that flex on those spikes. So those are going to wear down super quickly, I think. Um, but yeah, they feel really weird. I'm going to stand, like... I feel like I'm about to do Kung Fu, or, like, play footy, you know? Like, like what's up, Brew? Let's go, let's go kick it around. Um, this would be a really dope... As you can see, you can see some of that, that, that flash on the... the the reflection, you see that reflection a little bit? I can see the reflection. You see it on the backdrop there. Look at that. Let's check them out. Those are dope, man. I really I love them in the picture. And I think I think people really would learn to appreciate these later. I love it man. The silhouette's really nice. I think it's a really well made shoe. Looks really cool on the feet. Bam. Awesome. Cool sauce. Excited to take these out. I'm officially a part of the Off-White Clan. Dope. Yeah. Pretty cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys.